Patrick, you're up. Uh, number six, if you've still got those old-fashioned ice cube trays in your house, you are missing out. What because, is this magic? Well, I'm going to tell you, this little <laughs> gadget is a TGC Robin. A totes game changer. <laughs> it's an ice cube tray with a lid. Wow. Huh? So all you do is hold and press. You don't got to twist and turn. You don't have to struggle. And it also keeps your cubes covered so they're not absorbing any other potential debris from the uh. freezer. Just fill, freeze, press, release. And look at their, their beautiful size little mini cubes. Yes. You know I love the ice cube oh, trays. Why are they cube. colorful? Oh, you put juice in there. Oh, oh you do cranberry what? juice and orange juice. You throw it in a glass of Prosecco. Wow. Forget it. It's your best summer cocktail. I, I, we could I didn't know you're so passionate oh. about I love yeah. it. Anyway, I didn't mean to oh, no. usurp your story. No, 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 but no, no, no. I, I love, love hearing it. about what a party is at that house. <laughs> <laughs> Between t 10 and $20 on Amazon. I'm making note right now. Yeah. Thank you. Speaking of number five, uh, here's the handbag. Guess the price. All right. Uh, oh, that's $800. That's $8,000. Uh, uh, we'll go up higher, Larry. About 950. 950. Uh, maybe add a zero to that. What? Yeah, believe it or not, the, the black crocodile Hermes Birkin bag oh. just sold for 214,000 <gasps> bucks at Christie's auction house in New York. Yikes. It was part of the Luxury Week event. Mm. Bring your mon old monocle for that. Another big item, the Eden Rose, a flawless pink diamond, brought in a record $13.3 million for that 10.2 carat stone. Yikes. All right, number four, three words that are music to so many women's ears. It's got pockets. You may have noticed many dresses and skirts are being made with pockets, even on the red carpet. They hold your phone, they hold your keys, your credit card, your lipstick, all the little things you need. Plus, there's nothing like putting your hands in your pockets and doing a little twirl. It makes you feel like something you could do with your hands when you're posing uh, for a picture. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and when you're now new to a group or you're feeling uncomfortable, you don't know what to do with your hands, you just keep them in there. <laughs> you know, it's very true. Love a yeah. pocket. Love pockets. Number three, let's talk slow travel. More people are embracing vacations without an overpacked agenda. Instead of flying, they're taking a train or driving. Train travel in Europe has tripled in the last year. But slow travel isn't just about how you get there. It's also about what you do when you get to your destination. Spend more time outdoors. Take bike rides. Go hiking. Instead of booking excursions or making reservations, just take what comes your way. Another thing about slow travel, leave your phone behind and take in the actual things happening around you in real life. I heard, I think it was uh, some show where they said train travel twice as long for double the price. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and not like, all the trains are like fancy to make it worth it. Yeah, I don't know. That's a, It's not cheap. It, well, it depends. I haven't checked. No, it's train. not. It's I, not. I yeah. checked. I yeah, checked. you think it would be. And then cheap, somebody was not. like, "Oh my gosh, that would be such a great experience!" And uh -huh. I look compared to it's double the price of a plane ticket. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. After the first day, you'd be okay. Yeah. Right. I'm yeah. over that. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Number two. So now that cicada season is wrapping up, we found a great article: how to clean and preserve a cicada's molted exoskeleton. All you need to do is rinse it off in soapy water and let it dry. And if you're not going to preserve them or go near them, like Robin and I. Just turn them into mulch. And if you want to preserve the whole carcass, it's a little more complicated. You can inject them with an ethanol water mixture. Oh, or what is, what are or we doing? <laughs> right. Hmm. You know, not sure what you're going to do with them, but, you know, don't let us know. Just keep that to yourself. And <laughs> gross. Yeah. All right, number one, more adults are heading... More adults are heading this... <laughs> more adults are heading to summer camps. Uh, especially younger women. They're paying a few hundred bucks to take part in weekend camps for women only, and they get to do the same stuff they used to do when they were kids. They swim, they make s'mores around the campfire, or horseback riding. Instead of tents, they've got more high-end lodging options. They've also got unlimited wine instead of juice boxes. And the wait lists are long for these camps. That's because a lot of Gen X and millennial women say they're having a hard time meeting people, especially new friends. Hmm. Begging the question. Yeah. And I, I don't even think I need to ask blah, this question blah, for blah. half the desk. Would you try <laughs> adult summer camp? Oh, I Larry? <laughs> <laughs> Depends on what the theme was. I yeah. don't know. 
Do they have Prosecco with little orange uh, ice cubes in there? Oh, then it'd be worth it. Yeah, then it'd be worth but it. But do we really want, are people really doing this because they want to make new friends at this age? I was going to say, I don't need any more friends. I don't want to. That's a lot of work. Drown me in a lake. <laughs> well, That's a six at six. <laughs> yeah.